Nation's Bank Players of the Game. For Duke, Christian Leitner. Fine game he had down the stretch. And for North Carolina, how about Eric Montross inside? Ten points, nine rebounds for the seven-footer. The 23-game winning streak ends. Duke now 17 and one. Carolina goes to 16 and three. 75-73 the final. You've been watching exclusive coverage of ACC basketball on Raycom and Jefferson Pilot Sports Network. For Billy Packer, I'm Tim Brandt. So long, everybody. And everybody, Tom Suter, 530 Sports Headlines. Grill at the Hill last night. Ninth-ranked Carolina ambushes top-ranked Duke, 75-73. Ends the Devils' 17-game winning streak this season and 23 straight over a two-year period. It was celebration time in Chapel Hill. It was a lot of fun. Um, the, the fans, as much as they were into the game, it was really good for them to come out after after the game. And it was it was just a lot of fun. I've never seen that before here in the Smith Center. No, we never got frustrated. You know, with the games or the crowd or the rest, it was just the thing, our mistakes. And uh, our mistakes came because they played such a great game. And Duke loses more than just a ball game. Point guard Bobby Hurley breaks a bone in his right foot last night and will miss at least the next three weeks of the season. Elsewhere last night, Walt Williams of Maryland. Out for up in three weeks. Drew Smith has details of sports. Last of a North Dakota teenager whose arms were severed. Yeah, boy, I had to be out of town on a plane coming back yeah, from Chicago. Yeah, you missed it. Interviewing Oprah yesterday and, yeah. and the pilot says the score oh he said it and, when you were oh, flying yeah. back and what did everybody <laughs> and I will do tell you, the reaction on the plane was <laughs> a lot of mouths dropped a lot I of bet. jaws fell oh it was unbelievable it must have been a great and, game uh, how about all the uh, North Carolina sweatshirts in the newsroom today? Huh? It's, uh, it is amazing. <laughs> Lots of Carolina fans here. There are a few Duke fans, That's too, right. though, who are very upset uh, with good reason, too. That's yeah. right. Uh, we do have a kind of a sad story, really, yeah. for Duke. Uh, Duke lost more than just the game last night. The Devils lost one of their best. Point guard Bobby Hurley is out for commission, uh, out of commission for a while, possibly as long as three weeks. Hurley suffered a broken bone in his foot. The injury occurred in the first half, even though he played the remainder of the game. Hurley scored 11 points in the 75-73 to loss to Carolina. We hope to hear from Hurley and Coach K coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Well, what a ball game it turned out to be at the Dean Dome last night, and what a job the Heels did on Christian Leitner. Carolina held Leitner to just 12 points, and here's something that you rarely see. Leitner getting a shot blocked by Kevin Sal Salvadori. Eric Montross played the game of his life guarding the Duke center. I felt like every time I caught the ball, there was, you know, 10, felt like all five people were around me. And that's a credit to them. They had a very good defensive scheme, I think, tonight. And, uh, you know, we know they're good players. We know they're big players. And, you know, they just beat us. I'm basically tired of them. I'm glad we got, got rid of them. <laughs> Don't mean to be <laughs> telling so much, but, I mean, you got to, you know, you, just, you get tired of hearing how good they are and, and how they can't be beaten. Filled to the brim with an incredible surge of energy that occurs once a year, our rival Duke had come to Chapel Hill, and you knew this one would be a war. Witness the Tar Heels' Eric Montross. Well, the one on the head is a bite and a, or a tooth, and uh, the one on the uh, cheek I'd like to think wasn't flagrant, but it came from uh, somebody inside. Inside with power was where North Carolina attacked, complementing some strong moves to the hoop. Hubert Davis paced his club with 16. But Duke hung around. Bobby Hurley became the school's top assister ever with his dandy to Grand Hill. And just before half's end, it's Thomas Hill. 39-38 visitors at half. We went in the halftime not feeling good because I don't think we played well. We didn't play as well as we wanted to, and, and we tried to bounce back. But Duke didn't. A 10-0 UNC run, accented by three straight turnovers as Carolina collapsed on Christian Leitner with seven footers holding him to 12 points and silencing the transition game. Well, that's one thing I think Coach Smith really wanted to, really wanted to uh, use was our, was our height advantage. They had, they had Christian at 6'11", but then, then uh, if they had Cherokee Parks in there, it was a, it was a major drop-off. You know, we just want to get better and better. Our goals are improved. And I think you know, we did some things well. And I, uh, as I said, our defensive boards killed us. Well, they didn't uh, look quite as uh, poised as they did the first half, but I think our defense had something to do with it. But, hey, you know, Duke's going to be there. You know that. Yes, here came Duke. Brian Davis paced his mates with 17, and it's 67-66 Carolina with 5.43 left. 
but Duke got sloppy in their play, while UNC hit free throws. Derek Phelps, too, with 44 ticks to play, made it 75-73. Twice, Leitner had chances to send matters to overtime, but he didn't connect. And North Carolina pins a loss on Duke, 75-73. You know, Duke is almost invincible. They, they, they've got an incredible team all the way down to the last guy on the bench. And, uh, you know, to win this is just amazing. Well, Carolina's big and, and very physical. And uh, I thought when, you know, they're just stronger than we are uh, on the boards. And I think they use that to their advantage. So ends Duke's 23-game winning streak. The team that last beat them was the first to do it again. And again, the Nets came down. Tony Debo, WTVD 11 Sports. Frost, too. He has to leave the floor to get patched up. Now, Carolina takes command in the second half. Kevin Salvadori teamed with Montross to give NC the edge inside. When Derek Phelps' alley oop pass goes in the basket for three, you figure it's Carolina's night. Duke trails by nine when Montross hits the jump hook. He's still bleeding from the elbows up. Then the number one Devils assert themselves. Brian Davis for the breakaway jam. Grant Hill, the two-pointer, Andy's foul. Then, the unforgettable last 40 seconds. Christian Leitner gets two chances to tie the game. One falls short, the other's too long. Carolina hangs on. This is an incredible win. I mean, this uh, Duke's team is it's almost invincible. They, they, they've got talent everywhere, and it's just a tribute to Coach Smith to get us prepared tonight. You know, the second from the last shot I took was the easiest shot I took all game, and I just missed it. As the night draws to a close, they're still celebrating in Chapel Hill. Bob Holiday, WRL TV 5.